Hey everyone, are you paying for Linktree or BioLink or maybe looking for a free way to create your social profile hub that stand out from the crowd? Well, check this out. Today I'm going to show you how to create an awesome social media profile page that completely free and free forever, not just trial or basic plan. What if I told you you can get something even better for zero dollars right that's right zero dollars here's how simple it is enter your profile info edit your social media links and download the html file and upload to github or whatever the page you want and boom you are done no coding needed no technical skills required just fill in your information click download and follow my steps to make it live Look how easy this is. You just added your links, hit save and everything updates instantly. You can customize your profile picture and uh, support button. You can see here, support me, buy me a coffee if you're a content creator. And organize all your social media in one clean professional page for free forever. Ready to save some money and create uh, your free social hub? Let's get started. All right, now we are in the page. I'm going to show you step by step. First of all, put your name. I'm going to type my name, Shihab Dool, and the profile picture URL. I need to find because you cannot upload profile pictures, but you can get the link. You can grab any link you want. I'm going to show you how to grab a links. Open your YouTube channel page. Make sure you open in a different browser or uh, icognito mode right uh, you can use your own browser but i i believe this is very easy to copy the links once you're in the, any social media if you want to grab that profile page i like to grab this banner i'm going to right click this you can see copy image link click that i'm going back to my one i'm going to paste it here profile picture url and going to let me put my photo away now you can see in that save changes you will see your profile picture which i got from my youtube page the banner right you can grab this one to your actual profile page but i like to have the banner on here because it's so big and nicely fit because i'm going to use my youtube channel uh, the same profile page that's why next is the support link url i have support link url is my buy me coffee i'm going to do that and save changes and you can see in here it will pop out support me next i'm going to uh, page title i'm going to put my uh, channel name it samurai teacher this will be the my main name but if you want to put you uh, put different name we put our name but page title different name that's up to you and i'm going to put my email address hello samurai teacher i'm going to do save changes to see how it comes you can see that it is samurai teacher contact email address the platform i'm going to use youtube youtube copy my link put it over here and i'm going to right click this copy image link copy that and put it over here and the profile you can see it just pop up make sure you use always this uh, select platform otherwise without that you will get error next we're going to use my facebook and i'm going to the facebook and copy coming back profile url and you can grab this copy image link even you can get your banner I like to have my profile you can see i added my facebook let's do one more thing i'm going to my tiktok account and choose him from here tiktok page url and right click copy image link you can put any profile link page in here like profile picture it doesn't mean you need to have a tiktok or facebook or youtube grab anything and put it over here profile image it will pop up here now everything looks good i'm going to hit the save changes make sure you don't reload this button if you reload your 
change is going to be lost. So make sure quickly without doing any reload stuff, you need to download the HTML file. Everything looks perfect. I'm going to do some changes and later. So I'm going to hit that download button. In the back end, the HTML file downloaded. What you need to do here is grab that file, save into a different path and rename to index.html file. It's already HTML file, rename to index. I will show you in a bit. All right, I put everything, YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, GitHub, Pinterest, website, Instagram, LinkedIn. Uh, make sure if you don't have a web page options here, use the custom platform and edit it. Just in case I have issue with the Instagram profile picture, I have to grab different profile picture and put it over here. So it doesn't matter. You can put any profile picture, get the link and put it down there. Everything perfect, I'm going to download and after that, I'm going to upload to the GitHub page. Let's jump in. All right, first, let's set up your GitHub account. Go to github.com and click sign up. Enter your email address. I'm going to type hello at samuraiteacher.com and your password. Now, username, very important step. Choose your username carefully. This will be part of your website URL. For example, if you choose shihab tool, then your website will be shihab tool at github.io. So this will be your website URL. So make sure you use your name or your brand name and avoid random numbers or complex characters. Now, other thing is GitHub is not giving you whatever you type. So the database need to free that username. Now, example, if I type Shihab, you can see username is not available. It's already taken by someone. Now, this is the time you need to be very careful and choose the proper name. Now, I'm going to type bsdool. bsdool is my name, so it's available. Everything looks perfect. And I'm going to click continue. Let us use the visual puzzle, submit, I'm going to hit no. And it's going to send me a confirmation code to enter here. Once I enter the code, it will redirect me here. It says your account was created successfully. Please sign in to continue. Right, I'm going to use my email address, hello teacher.com and the password I enter. It's sign in. Perfect. I'm able to sign in. Once you log in, it will tell you to create your first repository. So we're going to hit this create repository and we're going to create our first one. Now, this indicates the owner of the repository. In this case, it's my GitHub account BS tool. If I have more, you will see in here. Probably you can choose which one you want to create. Now, if you belong to an organization, you can select the organization as the owner instead of your uh, account. Now, next is repository name. So this is the name of your repository. GitHub pages will use this name as part of your live website URL. Now, for this one, I'm going to use social media profile and description. You can added a short description about what this repository contains. Example, I'm going to say social media portfolio. So I will type social media portfolio. Anyone on the internet can see this repository. Ideal for open source project or sharing content like a profile editor. If you click private, only you or collaborators can access this now because we're going to use as a public we want to show it to entire world. This is our social profile. So don't put it private, make it public. A readme file typically contains information about your project. Example, usage, instruction. In here, it's good to put a readme file just in case. Just hit that readme file and enter something, my uh, social profile, like that. Probably you can put your name, Shihab Do or anything you want to uh, describe your project and hit this comment changes and you will get nice looking here to directly to main branch and commit changes in here so everything looks good perfect go back here 
Now you have a readme file, my social profile, Shia Abdul. Now next thing you need to do here is go here and add the HTML file, which we download from upload files. Find that file and upload. But once you upload, just hit that commit changes. So in the processing files, you should have only index and readme file unless if you want to pre-license, but you're not going to do anything like that. So read me and index is fine. Now let's jump into the next step. Now let's go to the best part. Once everything done, hit the settings tab. You can see in here, hit this button, settings tab. And under settings, you can see code and automation. Under code and automation, hit this pages. Now what we're going to do is we're going to enable our GitHub page. In here, you can see branch is currently disabled. So don't worry, we need to enable, hit this none button and the drop down, click in the main, don't change anything, hit the save button. Now it's going to save. Now just wait till a bit. Now in my next video, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to grab a custom domain and put the domain here. So now next, you will see whatever the domain you purchase, like example, www jack.com if you go www.jack.com you will see your social profile so awesome but purchasing a domain right so you need to purchase a domain at least you need to spend some money purchase a domain that's not a big deal but i'm showing here is totally free you don't need to pay for anything that's the cool part now once you save this button it should pop up something here it didn't pop up just hit this refresh like refresh button now can see your site is live that's the thing we want to see now hit this visit site and there you have it your professional social media profile is now live on github pages everything i have shown you today is completely free and it will stay that way all i ask in return is three simple things the first one hit that subscribe button it helps the channel grow number two Give this video a thumbs up. It helps others find this tutorial. Number three, share it with your friends, especially those who use a free profession profile. And here's what's coming up. In my next video, I'll show you how to edit your own custom domain to make it look even more professional. Plus I'm working on adding some awesome AI yeah, features to this template in future updates and yes those will be free too so don't worry if you have any future requests or modification you like to see on this template please let me know in the comments below your feedback shapes the future updates to this template thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next tutorial thank you